So tell me about some of your worst injuries, and and did and especially the ones that happened on flat track. I've broken my feet three, my foot three times. Um, I've had my knee replaced. Um, let's see, I broke my collarbone three track. times. Are you listening to this? Um, Thinking about I've broken my wrist line. three times. So would it be the left wrist my that jaw. you broke three times? Yeah, left wrist three yeah, times. Yeah, okay. that left wrist. Broken my <laughs> jaw. <laughs> had it wired together for Christmas dinner. That was fun. Uh, numerous concussions. You know, but outside of that, you know, it's been pretty safe. First ever flat track race. Welcome to Ride Apart. Your worst flat track injuries? My worst flat track injury. Fell off at Ascot Park back in 1982. Got hit by four people. Ooh. I got my hip blown apart. Oh. My hip blown apart. I got oh, stabbed. Nasty. Stabbed in the back. That's the foot pegs that went to the back. Ooh, Ooh. That's a good one. Spent, yeah. spent, spent good one. 32 days in the hospital from oh, that one. See, listen to that flat so, track injuries, man. Yeah. Where's your front brake? Oh, no front brake. I don't even like rear brakes. What? Yeah, the rear the rear brakes they uh, they 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 tend to make you drift when you go to, when you put it in really hard it'll make you drift up into the corner. Oh wow! How do you stop? Scrub well, pa usually past your pit. But. <laughs> <laughs> What's the tip for the day? Okay. Tip for the day: uh, ride fast, stay on two wheels. <laughs> That's all I can say. This is a fun night. You got cheap motorcycles. I've got some. Uh, Did you bring gear? I've got random gear. My gear for the night is going to be, of course, top helmet, gear, protection, the top stuff, and then a bit of comedy. I'm thinking, I had some boobs. Don't ask me why I have boobs, but anyway. I just want to put you off, man. So you're on that start line in sight, and then you just can't concentrate. You're just going to fluff it. J Jamie has trouble taking life seriously sometimes, <laughs> which, is, which is great, because now he has a kid. And so we all just constantly fear for the kids' safety. My bike. This well, this bike. This bike. This bike looks like a, a very well maintained piece of kit. Check out that chain. See, it's supposed to have oil on it. It's as dry as an Egyptian sandal. And then I can already tell that the clutch is absolutely. <laughs> and the front brake. Look at that. Lots of slop. In fact, aha, look at that, I pulled it in and it's still in. And I've got the lucky number 13. Look at, aha, look at this, look at this. The guys are spoiling me tonight. Check this out, this is the, ah, that's supposed to be free. Where's the spring to pull the brake back? Where's the spring? couple years ago. I've never seen such a badly prepared motorcycle in all my life. Yeah. Uh, Jamie was wondering if there's any dozer dumps out there. Uh, stay away from me. Um, you're the fastest guy out there. I'm the slowest guy. Yeah. My first time on dirt ever. His nickname is Grease Lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Not for the reasons that you would think. First impressions is it takes a lot to be really good at this. I didn't, uh, I didn't pass anybody. I'm really, it's a little scary. It's a little scary. I have no visions of grandeur out here. I just don't want to kill myself or lose to every one of my friends. Well, I grew up on dirt bikes and stuff, so it's not like, you know, super unfamiliar, but it's fun. Different from being on the street, you know, tires get loose, you're all over the place, squirrely. We got this steel shoe, that thing here, put it on my foot, and it, uh, I'm able to lay it down with some hard facing. They get pretty warm, that's why they call them a hot shoe. You put your foot down and you romp it in there, you put it in the corner there, but poor guys behind you, you give them the elbow, or you chicken foot them on the line, and you got them. Nobody's really told me how to do this yet. They just sort of assume that, oh, you just go out there and race flat track, and I don't really know what that means. <laughs> Cool, I'll walk with you.
so I'm just sort of going to pin it and go around as fast as it will go and try not to run into anything. Yeah, we're running a little late here, so I got to kind of rush. Is, do I need gas or something? What the f is wrong with it? Is there gas in it? We got one practice lap. So that was really like my first, my first time out there. There's no similar to a racing line or method or anything like that. It's a bunch of people on a bunch of different bikes just go crazy. Sexy blonde, racing motorcycles. Yeah. Bit, nice set of nice set of tits. They're a little even, a little wrinkly, but you're old now. We're about to go out for the final heat. It's uh, 10 laps, 20 riders, four rows starting. Anything goes. 20 riders on track at any given time on such an odd assortment of machinery, which with uh, a skill level varying from absolutely incompetent, i.e. me, to uh, pro racer, like my my, my fine-looking uh, female assistant here. <laughs> <laughs> What's your professional Isle of Man TT racer strategy? Just go for broke. Just yep. trying to avoid all the wreckage. Because there's going to be some wreckage. I, there's going to be some wreckage. I could be the wreckage. I think both of us could be the wreckage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. I, I, I predict uh, a pileup, uh, a pillar of smoke, blood. <laughs> it's going to be fun. There ought to be crashes in this one.
lot of fun. Where'd you put it? Yeah, absolutely no idea. Right? <laughs> no idea. I, don't... Oh. I passed somebody. <laughs> wow, that's good, man. It was so much fun when it. <laughs> yeah. Just you know, whatever bike you have, put some decent tires on it and come out and race. It costs 45 bucks. Just come and do it. You 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 will become a better rider. You will have a blast. You will make friends. Yeah. You know, you might, you might crash, but you, you, you won't be with stories to tell. It's just, it's just great. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. It's a cheap Saturday night out. It really is. We'll be back on June 9th. With something more powerful. With something more powerful. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be a little faster. Yeah. Dude, it's good finally getting to race with you. <laughs> Glad I beat you. <laughs> We're here today having the, uh, the Hooligan Derby. Uh -huh. And uh, it's really started as a bunch of friends getting together, wanted to uh, just race their bikes at the track. None of us really know what we're doing. It's just just to have fun, and if they don't lap me, I'm happy. Or I don't crash. So, whichever happens first. You know, this is only the second time I've um, I've ridden with this crew, and I'm excited to see you now. I need my own spanners. Sorry, wrenches. You guys call them wrenches. Oh. To get that thing fired up, we just spray it with a little bit of starting fluid. And that kind of kicks that thing up. So we put these things on there. And if you got trouble in the fans, you can, you can clear house in the stands if you have to. But uh, it's not that rough here anymore. It's, those, those days are done.